Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the messy desk and I thought I'd just have you, um, well, I'm working on this mini um, October daily. It's all Halloween themed and I am just adding, um, I'm still adding stuff to it. And um, so I've, I've printed the postcard digital kit at wallet size. And I only picked out um, three, three of the images, printed them each three times at wallet size. So I have the ticket size. And this, um, this kit is available in my Etsy shop, Dear Julie Julie. This is the postcard kit that you get. So you get those, you get the, the music, the haunted stream, and you also get scary Baltimore. So, um, I am just adding those. And then I also still, I have the large October 31st to add. And I have cut out from copy paper. These are two and day four, day four. These are the three that are done landscape style. And um, so the Oh Gracious Me, May Your Halloween Be Spooky and Ghosty. Not ghostly, but ghosty. So, and then the this one here, I'm going to also um, use those. But right now what I was doing was I was cutting out this, this one here. Okay, to be a ticket. So, um, just like I said, just doing some of the finishing touches, and I'm gonna find the hole punch, and I'm just gonna cut around the edges. that and it gives us a little ticket and I think it does need a little bit of distressing. I'm using um, this <laughs> it's just lightly distressing um, and it is what is it tea dye. I like it because it kind of get for Halloween and fall it kind of gives it a little bit of an orange um, feel so can you believe it? Day one is the day that is got nothing happened on it so far. So we have the little black cat. I'm going to just add this ticket. We're using the flinch cards. Those were printed at three and a half by five. Oops. And um, what I've done is kind of a collage on each, not each page, but a lot of the pages have a collage and they'll be open so that if you're putting a photo or something, it can actually go in under the um, the, the the place <laughs> the place. <laughs> this right here is a little pocket, and um, yeah. So we've added this cute little mini postcard. Let's see if there's. Anything in here that we can add? Oh, we've got a cute arrow. So these, you know what? We can just pull this out. And we have the sequin um, cat. Let's see. Sequin cat. I'm gonna just put the sequin cat down here at the at the bottom. I'm gonna staple it on. Okay, kind of funny. It looks like it it did. It got stapled in the hole. What are the <laughs> what are the chances? Okay, over here I've got some um, orange papers. 
and they are post-it notes, sort of. So I'm thinking that I don't want to cover that cat, so maybe put it like that. We get some paper in there. Hooray, hooray. So there's day one. I'm just trying to add a few things in so that each page has a place for you to write on. Um, you'll be able to, like, you can take and put a picture on this and back it and put it on this page. Um, so there's day two. Kind of just needs a little sticker, maybe. Oh my gosh, look at the candy the candy can corns. Cute. I hadn't noticed those. Okay, this page is looking pretty good. Do you see these? Are those not awesome? Those, okay, so this came out of this little book from Michael's, and um, it, it's like planner stickers. So how fun is that? You got your to-do, your airplane, uh, shopping, but it's trick-or-treat bags. Oh my gosh, I just... But these for your, like your water or your exercising or whatever. I think they're water, probably. I don't know. For whatever it is that you need to, to keep track of, I think they're cute. Okay. So there's three... There's some little gold stars. Okay, so we have this page. It's a belly band. We want whoever gets this to know it's a belly band. So we probably want to put something under it. So, KT, tell Liam I put a purple, another purple spider in. I know he likes the purple spiders. So over here, um, behind here, this this turned out really good. It's it's holding really good, but we've got two papers there. Um, so here's the the kitty page, and what I've got down here is I showed you on the live video yesterday. I have a whole bunch of the cutoffs and things from last year. Now these actually are not cutoffs. They came out of um, they were these sets of paper that I got from um, Target. And they were really it was I got them several years ago and I just think they are so fun okay so most of the collages like I said are are open to be able to I just want some more color here you know and then we've got that going on maybe we need like Is it over here? There it is. I was going to say, maybe we need to just stamp a little bat on the top of that. So we have our little bat. If all else fails, you can stamp a, stamp a bat. <laughs> so, um, most of this book, there are tutorials. Um, I'm just cutting that down because it's like way, way long. And then just re redoing it. And 
that will give us a little bit more color. We've got the cute little bat. So we can put a picture here and then we can journal and, and if we need to put another picture, we can put it behind. And of course, all of these things can be taken out and moved or used in a different project. Um, so we have a variety of the, the very um, spooky going on here. We have another, um, another little spot that that needs something. So let's see. We haven't, have we used, okay, so we have um, the old witch, the child witch, this one, that witch, the sassy witch that was Happy Mail. There's the young witch. So let's go ahead and where was I going to this one. So, old witch. I think we can go with young witch. We use the little kid with the keyhole already. Of course, you could cut these out, already have them ready, and just be using them. Okay. Oh, wow. We have this, this cool pumpkin. I forgot. That was a... Uh, I think this was from an Anna Griffith set that I got on HSN last year. Okay, we'll just put some of this on. Oh, you know what? We we have some. Oh, I like that. Okay, we don't want to pull this out. will give us a little more to hold and what I'm doing is I on the flinch cards I've been just covering so that just the top part stays out for most of them and if you're not familiar the flinch cards are um, normally flinch card game oh, it's a game from the early 1900s and um, the flinch card game goes up to 15, but I had a subscriber. I was saying that I wanted to make them up to 31 so we could use them for October, November, December, um, and then for other things as well. But for October daily, December daily, 30 days of Thanksgiving, um, and... I was saying that I was going to go learn how to, <laughs> how to do it. And, and one of my subscribers says, oh, I can do that for you. And she did. And it's awesome. And um, so it, the flinch cards are available in my Etsy shop. And this is what they look like at full size. And then what I'm using is them printed at three and a half by five. They are JPEGs. So you can um, print them at the variety of sizes. So that is available at Dear Julie Julie. And so, okay, so the one thing about this page is I really think it needed, um, it, it keeps falling over. So it needs something over here to keep this from continuing to fall over. And I thought maybe we could back the cemetery card if we can find it. Okay, let's find this. Well, there's, there's the ticket, but that's kind of small. Let's 
first let's look for the one that's a little bit bigger. It's this size. This size. Where'd you go? There it is. So, cemetery on the cemetery page. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this well I want it over I should cut it too much oh okay I like that so if we cut it along and then cut it at the gate, that might work. Okay, these are all items that are sitting in here. So it whoop, <laughs> was this side of the gate that we wanted it at. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll add the glue here and across the bottom. And like I said, I'm, I'm collaging a lot of the bottom, a lot of the, these pages. And this is how I'm getting the pocket is it, the actual collage is the pocket. Okay. So I like this and it keeps, it, you know, we have the theme going on here with the, the scary cemetery. And then we have spiderweb tag and the owl and I think the problem with the owl is that the string is so long that it is interfering it's making it really heavy we don't need the weight okay there's that there's that and then Wake up and smell the coffin instead of coffee. You know, it's like this tag is really, it can go somewhere else. Okay, so there we go. Okay, page eight. It definitely needs something. Okay, three, four have them. Five has the young witch. Seven. Okay, so what else do we have? We have the there's no place like home. This the lady looking out the scary um the scary window. I say scary window. There's all kinds of stuff around her window that makes it seem scary. And there we have Loretta and Vi as a little tiny picture like you might hang on the wall. It says, there's no place like home, but I'll tell you what, her home is looking pretty scary. There's like a breath of wind coming in, and there's goblins and other stuff. It's just, it's scary. Okay, again, on this one, I'm going to just put it on the side. That way, any picture, anything could go. We're going to do it at an angle, though. Up against the spooky. Okay, now where is our sticker page? Who knows? We lost. We lost the sticker page. We have these stickers, too. 
that we're trying to that we're trying to use up, but we want to use them up in a um, in a good way. Just don't think any of those go along with that. Um, but I did want to put this little cat. Look at this. We almost have used this. Oh. You know what? I really like the orange, though, because of the orange over here. So I'm going to put this, this one over here. And again, I'm putting this one. I, I like that one here, but I'm putting this one because of the orange. Then we get, we get orange. <laughs> we have orange happening. Okay, so um, oh, this still needs. Oh, what about the... Put the spooky pumpkin here, and then this can hold, you know, it can hold something. We've still got this. Okay, so I think we'll, we will put down the, the spooky pumpkin. Getting close to being finished, yay! I need to pull out my die cut machine. I haven't cut um, dies in a long time. That might be kind of, kind of cool. What do we got up here? Coretta and Vi, the bride. Oh, Loretta and Vi are cut out like paper dolls. Like <laughs> oh, I miss her so much. She. Oh, she was awesome. Okay. Well, we'll come back. That needs something there. So the, here we have that I made yesterday in the live video. I really like that got some flip-ups. Okay, so this page could use something. I still have the area here. I think that might be good. course make it a pocket because I make everything a pocket if it can be because you know it's like you never know when you might need more space to hold something and then we've got these and we can just oh, my fingers don't want to work this is like if we just fold one, put it behind. This is one chunky little book right here, but it is, you know, you can take things out, move them around. back. 
that. Okay, so day 11. This is the back. of that. This page should probably at least get a pocket. Maybe a black pocket. This side. This is again, this is out of that paper from Target from a few years ago. And put it in and then we'll dress it up just a little bit with, uh, so this is the center of the signature. Each day has um, two pages. Some of them have a little bit more. Some of them have like flip outs. Um, we have some waterfall page decorations. And this is the uh, adhesive backed ribbon from last year and oh my gosh I keep saying how much I love it I highly recommend it <laughs> it makes doing the, all this so much faster decorate and I'm trying not to if I have pulled it off I'm, I'm gonna go put it somewhere in the book so that it's um, okay so I like that so we can put another just gives you a place to do some journaling I'm gonna put it in this way because I don't want to lose that the, the cute bat. Don't want to lose the cute bat. Okay. Um, we do also have some, and this is day 15. I'm going to put got candy and um, that is just because you know you probably want to make sure you have your candy by this day because the sales are going to stop and so there I'm just gonna <laughs> so that's your that's your candy reminder and with your little candy corn there you go okay day 16 little there we go let's see if we can get one where the the, the pumpkin's going to be on the bottom on all of them have our waterfall here. This needs something. Let's see if we have anything 
sideways. There's some more of the pumpkins that Liam likes. And, you know, she's, oh, she was just right here, the ugly bride. I guess we don't need to put her right there. Um, let's see. But we could put the key, the key, the key keeper, the key keeper kid. So again, this is the digital printed at um, wallets, wallet size? Yeah, wallet size. We will just carefully punch the corners. Whoop. To make it sort of look like a ticket. that I lost my corner. What is with this side? There. Okay. So again, just trying to make it so there's places for you to put pictures or ephemera and then also journaling. So 18, does the owl stick up? Yeah, yeah, like that. There's the scary owl. Maybe put this in front. Okay. And Place. You can put a picture back there or a journal, put your picture there, um, or you can uh, tip something in there. I wonder if we should put okay. So down here we have this card. She's gardening, and the scary guy with the pumpkin head is picking up her rake. Scary guy with pumpkin head. So we're just turning this into a ticket. And we'll put it over the ticket. And we'll just go ahead and change it a little bit. glue this as a corner and again this is another one of those collages that ends up being a tuck and Some stars over here in this scary night. We had a little tiny witch we could put her flying over that. We could stamp her on there. But I don't have one. That's gonna have to that should be something I'll be looking for. Okay, we have the witch picking it peeking out over here. And 
see. Is brew. And we got the witches over here. The bats. This smell my feet. <laughs> okay. So this is day 20. And we have the flip out. Do a little collaging in there. And then, let's see. Too big. I think these um, postcards are so much fun and. It's unbelievable. They're over a hundred years old. That just, um, I just find that to be totally amazing. bottom it says a jolly Halloween we're on a pumpkin as high as the moon we're gonna going to catch old dame witch real soon One more little thing, and hmm. I think we need one one more little thing here in our to hold it. Well, and you can see, we definitely, we definitely need something there. Um, there we go. There's plenty of spots so for pictures in there. 
Okay, day 21. Just fits in there just right. Okay. Um, we have huh. I was looking for the, the haunted stream, of, <laughs> but I'm not finding any haunted stream. One more look around. Okay, so this is part of the little, the card that has the, the little girl witch. I'm going to go ahead and take the Halloween. Off of that, just add it here. Go ahead and cut off. This is from the box of stickers. And what we can do here is add some of the sticker ribbon. Put, put it up here. So it says Halloween treats. And down here just has, and we've done this before. gives us something for in there. So this is another little pocket. These are stickers from out of that sticker one of the sticker boxes and we have our fortune telling little fortune telling playing card and I need some more color on this page that.
Ooh, those are card stock. Looks like the bat signal. <laughs> Scary Baltimore. It's like, okay, yeah, when we get to start getting to the some other things. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so this page needs something behind there. It does not need to be that big. But what we can do is come over here and we'll cut this at, well, let's put it in correctly. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this new, um, if we cut it at one and a half, then we can use our um, Hobby Lobby punch to turn that into a tag. So where is our... So this can go here. And then this can get punched. Make sure it goes all the way in. There we go. But oh, we'll save that. Actually, we'll put it right there. Okay. Okay, so this is just sitting in here.
just have some of this material left over from uh, the Greenville book last year. <laughs> this is the material. <laughs> I tried to iron and I ruined my iron. It stuck to it. It melted. Melted to my iron. So we'll just stick that in there. But that holds that. And put her up here. Oh, you know what? Bring her in a little bit. Because I have. I don't know if we've used this yet. The kitty washi. It has a little bit of its post-it note left even after I um, coffee dyed it. So the video cut out. I'm so sorry. Um, I am at the point that all I have left to do is do, wow, we're really, really, really chunky, but really cool, um, is to add something to the front and to finish Halloween day. So watch for the flip through coming very soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. Just crafting with me, um, kind of similar to uh, a live video. Unfortunately, I can't, couldn't interact with you. So, um, but we're almost done. Very, very, very chunky. I think this one would be cool just left open on the table. Choo like that and probably after you get all your stuff in it it's going to be like that and it will attract people to actually I think want to come and look at it so um <laughs> that's me going to the glass half full side of the fact that this is very 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 chunky so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're looking forward to seeing the the final project I'd love to know have a great day. Thank you for being here. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.